also move in the same way. So we're going to see Selena and she can show us how a seal moves. Remember, it is quite a different story. Their flippers are very small and they're positioned differently. They stick out at her sides. So she can't support her body weight like Claude can. All she can do is shuffle on her belly like a giant caterpillar. But she can still show you can roll over. So when you're ready, Selena. Round of applause. Something that everybody asks us is how do you teach the animals to do all of those different things? Like so we can let you in on a secret and show you do something from target training. Target come in many different shapes and sizes, and if we show this one to clean or claws, they're very interested in a different colour at the end and they follow it wherever it goes. When they're babies, they very quickly learn. It's all about the target. Touch it, follow it. You get some sort of nice treat for each type. So it's easy to use it as a guide and you can show them how to do almost anything. Once you've got to touch him, we can move around a bit and Claude will come with us. This is very easy for him. If you want to show him how to do an impression of Salini, put target down low, so follow it on his belly. And if you go up high do a big jump, something else you can do with a sea life, but not seal because it's in biology, is a handstand. So for this, you bring the target out front so it leans forward. You can handle the second target this time. Well done, Claude. <laughs> Selena can do the targeting as well. It works exactly the same with a seal. And just like Claude, she'll follow it with her nose. That's because it's covered in whiskers, so it's very sensitive. She can do this while she's swimming. And if we want to make sure she's paying attention, we just use a little circle. When you're ready to teach her something different, like a high jump, for example, she needs a swim up to this one. So she's going to go into the corner there. We're going to hold the target up nice and high in the middle. And if we're very lucky, get ready. We get a big jump. Oh, that was a lovely jump. Big round of applause for Selena, please. Another thing you can teach them is something that's called porpoising or bow jump. Dolphins are the most famous for this, as they can use it while riding waves when they're playing at the front of the boat. So we'll ask Claude to show us what it is. Because it's small, if it was a big head, one. You might be able to see and hear him taking an important breath of air. Very good, Claude. Claude is a mammal like us, so he can't yeah, breathe yeah. in the water. He needs to hold his breath, but by porpoising, he can take the breath on the move instead. Very good, Claude. <laughs> I like that. Something that everybody likes to see is he like do. It's all balancing. A lot of people think it's easy and that they do it automatically, but actually it's quite difficult. It takes a lot of practice and skill. Claude's been doing this for a long time. He can balance the ball there for ages if he wants to. Once you've got some normal balance in, we can start to change things up a little bit. So let's ask Claude to go for a swim and then we'll give him the ball back and we'll see if he can balance and swim at the same time. Very good, Claude. There's a good bit coming up. Get Cameron ready. You're all going to do some rollovers. What? Two. Three. Well done, Claude. We will give him the ball back and then he's going to show you Sit down for me, please. Make sure you sit down properly. 
and get your cameras ready. There will be some good photo opportunities coming up. Now everybody knows that sea lions like to eat fish, but if you live in the wild, you need to catch it yourself. They have a number of features to help do this. First one is whiskers. They've got between 40 and 60 of these. Each one's got around 1,800 nerve endings. They're incredibly sensitive. And even if sea lions are totally blind in the wild, they'd still be able to find their food. They can feel the vibration the fish makes as it swims through the water. Another important feature, their teeth. If you look closely, he's got 34, maybe 36 for a bigger sea lion. Only pointy one for catching and grabbing. They don't chew their food like dogs and children. And you'll see this if you watch him catching his fish. No chewing his dog, he just swallows it whole. Elbow is a very cheeky sea lion as well. And he's going to show you just how cheeky he is by sticking out his tongue. <laughs> I'm videoing this all. Very good, Elmo. If you ask nicely, they'll give you a big round of applause. We're going to head over the other side of the pool. So stay seated, everybody. All the way, Elmo. Starting with his whiskers. The light ones and dark ones, they all do the same job. They're very sensitive. If the water is very dark and murky, and they could see where they were going. They can feel their way around instead. Let's have a look at his teeth. They are, if you look very closely, you might be able to see the teeth are very dark, almost black in colour. Over the time they develop a layer of bacteria, it has a dark pigment. And this helps to keep his teeth nice and healthy. So they're not going to have to rot on and about to fall out. That's the colour they're supposed to be. We are going to do the tongue thing on this side as well. So get your cameras ready. Steady. <laughs> Very good, Elbow. Give a big round of applause. He's going to head back over to the beach. Off we go. Huh? Another important feature they have is their eyesight. I'm saying, oh. They've got what's called binocular vision, two forward facing eyes, which allow them to judge speed and distance very well. So we are going to put this to the test. See, he's got five hoops. He's going to throw them to Elmo, who's going to try and catch them over the top of his head. Ready, Elmo. One, two, three. Four. You've got one for the last one. Five. Very good, Elmo. But you don't quite choose on the land if you live in the world. You need to go swimming to find your dinner. So let's really put Elmo to the test. Let's ask him to go for a swim and see if he can still catch his five hoops. Ready, Elmo? One, two, three, four. Difficult one the last one. Five, perfect. Well done, Elmo. They don't just eat fish, they can eat other animals as well, like squid and octopus, seagulls, such as pelicans and penguins, even the occasional fur seal and seal pup. They really are the lions of the sea, and it's not just down to their diet. They are quite a lion-like animal which can include their voice. But the noise that everyone seems to associate with sea lions is the Californian sea lion's bark. So everyone listen carefully and Claude will demonstrate. Sea lions. Some of them even get a big mane of fur around 
their neck, they look like a lion as well. 